Drinking water that's fresh, clean and crystal clear is taken for granted in the Western world. We might not give it a second thought, but between the source and our tap, water has to be transformed, big time. Our water may come from the heavens above, but it's far from pristine. It starts its journey to the treatment plant through a pipe in a reservoir. Within this housing, about two meters down, is a 15 centimeter hole. Covering that hole is a metal grill designed to keep out large debris, such as tree branches. The water flows to the pumping station where it goes through a preliminary screening. A giant revolving screen removes fish, garbage and grass. Once the debris is removed, a low-pressure pump moves the water to the treatment plant. The untreated water, called raw water, now starts its passage to our taps. First, a powerful form of the chemical element carbon is added. Called activated carbon, it absorbs contaminants such as solvents and pesticides. This rids the water of taste and odor. From there, the water then goes through a series of mixing tanks. The first tank holds a chemical called aluminium sulfate. This acts as a coagulant, a substance that thickens liquid into globs. In the raw water, the aluminium sulfate forms tiny sticky globs called flocks. Bacteria, mud and other impurities then stick to these flocks. The flock-filled water moves onto a second mixing tank. The second tank holds a chemical called polymer, which is essential to the next step of the process, called sedimentation. Five pipes inject the water with superfine particles of sand, called microsand. The polymer coats the sand, making it sticky. The grains of sand then stick to the flocks in the raw water, weighing them down even more. The water then flows into a settling tank, where the flocks, because they're heavier, settle to the bottom. As you can see in this takeoff cylinder. The water is finally clear. But it's far from drinkable, because it's still full of bacteria and organic matter. So the next step is filtration. The water flows onto the top of the filter, then trickles downward passing through a layer of anthracite, a type of coal, then through a layer of sand. This filters out any remaining particles, but the water is still teeming with bacteria, so it has to be disinfected. Chlorine is then added, 1.9 milligrams per litre of water, enough to kill off the germs. A mineral called silicate is added, to prevent calcium buildup blocking our water pipes. The treatment plant sends water samples to inspectors who continuously monitor the water supply to ensure it meets safety standards. The amount of chlorine remaining in our drinking water is 0.6 milligrams per litre. The chlorine gas the plant uses is highly toxic. Should any leak out, emergency teams would have to evacuate a 10 kilometre radius so the plant stores the drums of chlorine in a high security area. It's taken just 45 minutes to turn raw water into treated water. Now these electric motors will pump it through the underground pipes right to your tap.